Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk all about vintage Revlon nail polish. I bought a whole bunch of vintage Revlon on eBay. I believe I have a set, I think from the 1960s, maybe late 50s, and also a nail polish from the early 1950s. I'm not 100% sure on the exact dates, but I was looking at images online trying to figure out the exact dates of them, so let me know if you know in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Laura and welcome. This is where I talk about all things vintage. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and say hello. I linked everything below. All right, let's jump right in and talk about my vintage Revlon nail polish collection, as well as the newer Revlon nail polishes you can buy today that are still made in the vintage colors. The set that I got is this incredible kind of gold brocade nail kit from Revlon on eBay. I just love the beautiful gold brocade on the outside. I feel like this is kind of like a 1950s, maybe early 60s kind of print. And then inside, it comes with the whole nail kit, so it has like scissors, two different sets of scissors on them. They all say Revlon. There's like a nail file that says Revlon Stainless Steel. There's like a cuticle trimmer as well. And then there is the like, there's one of them left. It's like the Revlon kind of matchstick tip that goes on top of the nail polish. So you just screw it on top like this, as you can see. And it just goes on top. There's only one of them, so I'm assuming it came with a few others, but they, I guess, just lost their way over time. Polishes, I quite like the little case. For some reason, this seems a bit newer than 1950s because of the plastic. So that's why I was thinking 1960s. And so it comes with this kind of square, creamy um, cuticle remover. And as well as the cuticle, creamy cuticle remover, there is a velvety non-smear nail polish remover. I kind of like the like pink color of this one. I'm sure it's pretty toxic. It's two colors. It has fire and ice, which is a classic Revlon red shade. This one is from 1952. But the thing is, is you can still buy Fire and Ice lipstick, but you can't buy Fire and Ice nail polish. I looked in a whole bunch of different stores and online, and I didn't see it at all. I did, however, find two other Revlon vintage shades. Then there is also this really pretty frosted pink cloud color. It kind of looks like kind of a classic kind of sheer pink color. This one looks like it can still open too. Seems like a really nice color and it actually still kind of smells like a newer nail polish. But I do really like the design of this one and I think that color is quite versatile. And then there is this kind of super base base coat. But it looks like it's a weird color because it's like this dark brown. I don't know if it tinged through time, but it's like a weird... Ooh, it smells really bad. It's like a weird brown color. I'm not sure if it's just because it's old, but that is a base coat that it came with. I just really like the look of this kit. I think it's just really incredible to find something so intact. So when I saw it on eBay, I just felt like I had to have it. So that is my vintage Revlon nail kit. I found this Revlon vintage set. Um, it's kind of like, it's called a Matchbox set. And it's called Lastron Matchbox by Revlon. I don't see any dates anywhere, so it's really hard to tell how old it is, but as you notice, it's a different shape than my other vintage Revlon. This one's a round bottle, so it doesn't have that kind of classic Revlon shape, as you can see. By looking online, I did see another photo of this, but it was a different shape, so I'm not sure. Maybe this is quite rare, and as you can see, the stick is different too. This one is a clear color, and the other one was white. And this one is Fatal Apple. Again, you can't buy this color nowadays but however I did find this lipstick it's a modern lipstick and it's called Fatal Apple and it's kind of like a Revlon it's kind of like it has a, like a lot of color but it's more of like clear red it's quite nice I'm wearing it now and it was the only thing I could find the Fatal Apple color however it does look a bit different the nail polish looks darker but it could be just because it's older and just the way it's more concentrated in the bottle but I thought it was interesting that like, the color still exists it just exists in the lip gloss I couldn't find any nail polish in that color I really like the box that it comes with as you can see 
So the box definitely looks older, so that's why I'm thinking that this one is probably from the early 50s, and my other nail set is most likely from the 1960s. I did find a newer color. It's called a Revlon Red, but I think this is a remake of Raven Red, which is from 1945. I think they just kind of changed the name and it's like a very classic red. So I'm assuming this is just the, they changed Raven Red to Revlon Red. Let me know, maybe I'm wrong, but I kind of have a feeling because it definitely looks like a classic vintage red. Here's the classic Cherries in the Snow from 1953. You can get the matching lipstick as well. I quite like this because it's more of a pinky red. It's really nice. I'm wearing it now. I obviously, I actually painted my nails in the dark while watching TV, so they're terrible. I need to do some more coats, but I really like this color. It's the Cherries in the, in the Snow from 1953. Fortunately, it's not included in any of my sets. That would have been nice. I bet I could find another vintage one on eBay. Also tried to get two colors that were similar to the Frosted Pink Cloud. I found a sheer pink which is kind of similar but with less shimmer. I think this would be like a nice base if you just want something basic on your nails. Quite like the look of that. And then I also got this shade which is Pink Glaze. It kind of has a lot of sparkle and it looks very similar to the Frosted Pink Cloud and the fact that it has like a lot of shimmer in it. So I kind of thought if you layer those two up, you can get a similar color to the Frosted Pink Cloud. But let me know if I'm missing any vintage Revlon shades. Um, I had a hard time looking. I definitely found Walmart had a huge selection, as well as Amazon. I've also linked everything below. So let me know what you think of my collection and which colors are your favorite and if you collect vintage Revlon. Alright, see you guys again soon. Bye!